um, part two of my video game collection, or not collection, but, uh, pickups video for August, what, 20th, 20th, I think, at yeah, 20th, or 21st, um, I also got The Last of Us for the PlayStation 3, basically one of the most an anticipated AAA titles, I've beaten it, I got about, I think, 40% of the trophies, I will apply to the other them, so I just don't know when. This is a really good game. I'd, I'd say it's kind of overhyped, but, you know, it's like, because if you play this game a second or third time through, like I have, you get to see, like, all the problems. Like, uh, there's only three or four enemy types, you know, besides humans. Um, your AI partner can basically do whatever I want and not get caught. You know, when you're trying to be stealthy. Uh, their puzzles are really simple. They're not only puzzles, but I kind of think... Since they're making a franchise of uh, The Last of Us, I kind of think it's going to be like Uncharted 1 was like really great, you know, or great, or good even, and Uncharted 2 was like amazing, so I think I think it'll be a lot, a lot like that, since there, there's going to there's gonna be at least Last of Us 2 and 3, because, well, if you played, you know, beat the game, you'll see through the ending, but, you know, they left it open for a sequel, and I, I know that they're making this a franchise because I, I saw that there's a patent for Last of Us 2 and 3, so there's going to be at least, like, you know, three Last of Us. But, for, you know, for the first game in the in the title, it's, you know, it's really ambitious. I like how you have to get supplies and how to try, how to survive, and, you know, the storyline's really good. It's just when you, like, when you when you play through, like, the game a second or third time, you get to see all, like, the problems and stuff. But otherwise, it's still, it's still a really good game. Um... But there's the front. Here's the back. If it, come on. You know, here's Joel and Emily brought together by harsh conditions must survive a brutal journey across the U.S. and a dangerous post-palatic world. And you know, there's also kind of this game is really good because. Uh, the, the virus that actually, that actually is in this game, it actually could happen, so that's pretty cool that, like, it's kind of based on fact, too. But overall, this is still a really good game, but I got The Last of Us. Um, I'll just, uh, I got The Last of Us. I'll just put that there. Um, I got The Walking Dead Survival Instinct. The well, AMC is The Walking Dead Survival Instinct, and I actually planned in this game. And I know people think this game is trash because the graphics aren't that good, the gameplay is bleh, and all the other stuff. But I honestly think that, they did, that I, I, I did a full review for a friend, but I won't, like, go a full review. But I think they did a decent job with this game. Like, there's really no end, like, there's really no ending to this game. It's all, it just ends abruptly. But I like how, you know, the graphics are kind of subpar. I, but I, I like how you have to actually get supplies and ammo just like in the show. And um, you know, and all the you know all the other stuff they did to it. I don't know. I mean, you can tell it was maybe kind of rushed because they just wanted to make money. But I I I did like the few things that that they did in this on this title. You also play as Daryl and Murr, You know, the brothers from the show. It's, you know, just just in case you guys don't know. And it's first person shooter survival horror, which doesn't really work. But I think I think they did a decent guy. Or a decent job. I I don't think this is as bad as um people people as other people think it is. But that's just me. I enjoyed it. Probably because I'm a big fan of The Walking Dead, so that helps. But I did enjoy it. I even planned it, so I you know I enjoyed it. Um, but there's the front. Uh, here's the back. And this game is not co-op, even though you think it would be. It's not co-op. It's all single player. Oh yeah, you can like yeah, you, you can choose you can choose people to come with you and help you find stuff. I think for the little things they did down here, I won't go on, but they did they, I think they did, they did a decent job. Um, I got the Dead Space Three Limited Edition, which is basically just a couple DLC codes. Uh, some people don't like this game because you know I'll just show you the show you the back right now. Some people don't like this game because um. How it has the microtransactions where you can buy like supplies and stuff to help through the game. But you know, that's optional if you want to or not. 
and then how it's more action than survival horror. I still think it's a good game. It's not really survival horror, it's action horror. And I think the best one in the series is still two, because that one scared the crap out of me. But overall, I still think this is a good game. Plus, it has co-op, you know, which is always good. It's probably scary alone, but you know, it's I, I I'm enjoying this game because I'm playing with a friend. I'm I'm playing by myself too, so I've been doing both. But I think it's a good game, you know, for being action horror. It's still a good game. Um, but I got that. Um, I got Naruto Storm Three. Playing them. Yeah, I plan them this. I plan them this also mainly because it's easy platinum, and I, I'm I'm a huge fan of the Naruto series, even though I haven't followed the series since Shippuden episode seventy, or Naruto Shippuden episode seventy. Um, this covers to um, let's see, this covers up to um, the end of the like the very end of the of the Pain Saga till um the second Great Ninja War. So basically, this is how I, you know, stay up with Naruto. And, you know, the cutscenes are really good. The gameplay is solid. You know, it's your typical Naruto all with the cinematic boss fights. And, you know, it's, you know, has the online and, you know, has the the Japanese um, voice actors if you want. I'd definitely say this is, this is probably the best Naruto game to date because the story mode is just fantastic. But, like, once you beat it, it's kind of like there's nothing really else to do unless you play online. But then, you know, that's basically it. Or, you know, or if you just enjoy the game in general. But, yeah, the story mode is fantastic. I would definitely recommend this game if you're, you know, a big fan of Naruto. Plus, it's, like, the easiest Naruto... The, the easiest of the Naruto Platinums to Platinum if you're going to you know, for Platinums. It's definitely, it's definitely a lot easier than um, Generations and Storm 2. But yeah, I would definitely say this is uh, the best Naruto to date because the story is just fantastic. But um, even though it can kind of drag on with like 20 hour, 20 minute, 30 minute cutscenes, but you know, I'm used to that. But um, it's good. It's a really good game. Um, but I got that. You know, there's the front, obviously. Although they are rem they are redoing like an enhanced version called Naruto Storm 3 Burst or something. So you could just wait for that because there's like additional DLC characters and on and other stuff. But I got that. Um, okay, my mistake. It's the fourth Great Ninja War. My mistake. So it covers up to the fourth Great Ninja War. My, my, my mistake. But I got that, though. And I got um, The Last Rebellion. And I'll be honest, I really only got this game because it's a really easy platinum and it's only not 10 bucks. But people say the story, the story mode in, in this game is really bad. And it honestly isn't. I actually really enjoyed the story. I won't tell you the story because I don't want to ruin the story for any for any for anybody that wants to you know play it. But I thought the story was pretty good, and I, th I thought the gameplay was really unique in this game because the gameplay was like um. You guys ever play uh, Shadow Heart? I think it's called for the PS2. Uh, it has like this ring, or you know, this ring, or, and then and then uh, the cursor goes around it, and you gotta stop at the sweet spot to do extra damage. It's kind of like that, but you actually, in the last rebellion, you have to hit, you have to like target uh, Pacific body parts in order to get bonus damage. The gameplay is really unique, and the story isn't you know that bad either. So you know, I think it's a, a decent game. It's not that bad. Um. You know, there's the front, here's the back. I'm not going to show you the insides of any because, like, all my games are in my game case and in my, and, you know, in my drawer, so it's kind of pointless. Um, but I got, you know, I got that. Um, got Bioshock Infinite, which really shouldn't be mine, it should be my cousin since this was technically his game. But I changed the PS3 without forgetting that he pre-ordered this game a long time ago. But I'll make up for his birthday. Um, I don't really say much. I, re I really don't need to say much about this game because most people already played it and know it's a great game and stuff. I haven't even touched this game yet. I've I've had it since basically release, like when it first came out. I haven't even played it yet. But I won't say much about this game because people already know about it. So I didn't know it's one eighty awards, dang. Um, but yeah, you know I got Bioshock Infinite, and I'm gonna say there because people already know about it. Um, 
I got Time and Eternity. Basically plays out how, like, this game plays out like an anime because there's no really there's no cutscenes at all. It just plays through like there's fully voice voice acting, and like when you're walking around, it, I don't know. You'll I'll, I'll show gameplay, but it, it really feels like you're playing through an anime. If you're, you know, if you're in anime, but basically this whole story is about how you're trying to stop your death at your own wedding because you get murdered, and you got to go back in time, but uh, you know, stop it. But the twist is. The girl you're marrying has two souls, so basically, like, two souls in one body, so she's basically, like, like two different people in one body, and, um, and, uh, you know, you gotta choose which one you love, because there's, like, three endings, there's, there's two endings for each girl that, you know, forever you pick, and there's, this, there's a special ending, so there's a lot of replayability, there's side quests and stuff like that. I've really enjoyed this game, and you know, so easy platinum too, which always is helpful. But I've really, really enjoyed this game. But I got that. Um, and I got uh, Resident Evil Revelations, which is basically just the remake of um, the one for the 3DS, just with better graphics, and with like one new enemy and a few other new stuff. So if you if I did a full review for this on the, on the 3DS on my channel a long time ago, but you know there's really not much to be said. They basically just made it to where you can play with the controller and added a few extra features, in which I honestly prefer playing this on the, on the PS3 because you play with you know play with an actual controller and not having those you know really hard time with the with the 3DS. But you know it's really it takes place between uh, Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 5, and you know it's a good game. I enjoy it. I definitely recommend this game if you want like old classic Resident Evil. It's definitely like that. People say it's more like Resident Evil 4, but you know, I yeah, I can see that. But yeah, this game's a lot more survival horror than let's say five or six. You know, if you if you're one of those people, I'd re definitely recommend that if you want to go back to the old classic one, two, three Resident Evil. But it's a really good game. I enjoyed it. Just look at a platinum it, but you know, good game. Um. I got the God of War, which is like the God of War session, which is like the prequels to the God of War series. The only bad thing I can really say about this game is that I didn't really care for much about the story because I thought they'd talk about how he murdered his family and you could play him as a general, how he killed his family. But no, it takes place six months after that and how like how he killed his family and all the other stuff, how he'd be more loyal to uh, Hades, or not Hades, but Ares and stuff like that. Good, good game. I, I I love the improved gameplay, but I don't know. Just the story. I just wish the story was better. And then, then you know the back. Um. And then the last game I got was um, Pandora's Tower for the for the original Wii. The three like this is like the third game in Operation Rainfall. They got they did the. That they did that uh, written permit for Nintendo to bring it over. It was this game, uh, Last Story, and Exile Blade Chronicles. This was the last game. I got all three. So I've been, wa been waiting for this game a lot. And basically, um, this game is about... Um, this game is about how this one girl has the one virus, and you have to defeat these uh, masters, like 13 masters, which is bosses. And you have, to, you have to feed her their flesh, and then all like, uh, cure like if you if you give her all the flesh of the master, it'll like cure the curse. But probably not, because I think something will happen after you like you know after you do the thirteen masters. But you know we'll see. I re really enjoyed this game. It's it's a lot like Zelda. And it, it kind of gives you dark dark side or dark siders in, in Castlevania too, because the art style. It's really it's a really really good game though. I'm really enjoying the storyline. Really good so. But, yeah, like, those are, like, what, the 15 or so games? Oh, yeah, there's, I forgot to show it. But, yeah, those are, like, the 15 or so games that I got recently. Oh, yeah, and there's also, when you pre-order Dragon, oh, I don't know if I showed you Dragon's Crown. Oh, yeah, I did. But when you pre-order Dragon's Crown, you get an art book, too.
So I got that too. But yeah, those are what I got. Those are the 15 uh, games that I got for um, you know, for my video games pickup. So uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys later. And if you guys want to know any more I information about the games, just you know, uh, put a comment on, and I'll you know tell you more about it. Um, talk to you guys later. Bye, and I hope you enjoyed it.